What's up guys and welcome to a new video. As you can see, we're out here in a remote desert landscape out here in Southern Utah. And I'm with my buddies Garrett and Micah. We we're hunting coyotes. So we just got done with our first stand. We didn't have any luck in the past. If you guys ever watched the videos we put up together, that was the same stand that I hunted with them last year. So we're kind of making the same loop, same plan, just stand after stand hunting for dogs. But this should be a great day. It's a little breezy, but uh, it's a lot warmer down here than it is back home. What happened back there? I don't know, man. Somebody's, well, you know what it was. We're super superstitious. Parked in the wrong spot. We usually park back there. That's what it was. This is Garrett. You guys know these guys. What's up, what's up? You're what, five for five at that stand? Well, was. was five for five. <laughs> Till now. They were 100% on that stand, but no longer. So off to the next. Coyote or no coyote, guys. This is worth it right here. Look at that. Gorgeous out here. We're just getting up for stand number two. Nice work, man. Dude, you guys, if you could see my heart, <laughs> like just like, I mean, I could hear it in my head. That was so, I wish you could have seen it from my angle because it was so cool. I hear you kiss. I look over and I can't see anything. It's like he came out because he was right in line with uh -huh. you. I, like literally, I'm staring at the back of your head and he just like appears out of the side of your head, just coming right down that wash, just flying. That was awesome. Boy, I really Heck yeah. Nice shot, man. Nice work, dude. Oh, yeah. It's that straight on shot, too, where it doesn't yeah, hold up. You know, I've seen that in your guys' videos. It's not, a, not even hardly a hole, man. He's not a big dog, but man, is he pretty. They don't get real big out here, though, either. Dogs don't get real big. Like, that's an average size coyote for out here. Let me give you a quick look at this thing. It's a female. Average size dog, they say, for out here. But one thing that just stands out to me is just this pattern on the top of her back kind of like this half dome this white right here is so cool looking man oh, I've got I've got my first coyote that I got with these guys you skinned it and, yep. and dry tanned it it's hanging on the barnwood wall with with my deer this one's gonna be going on the wall too I'm gonna keep this one like they said in some of their videos is uh, these frontal shots do the least amount of damage on the fur and I'd say that this one is like no damage a little pinhole in the front you can't even see where you hit it but uh perfect we're gonna move on to the next one but man that was intense my heart was going crazy this is fun thank you guys awesome stand anytime man we gotta do it more often we do Garrett says we're getting one on this one. Is it gonna happen? We're gonna get one. Garrett says we are. Garrett says we're getting one right here. Gonna make I don't know happen. why he thinks that. It all looks the same. <laughs> Just a feeling. Must be a good one. Must be a good spot. Crazy place for cows. Gonna get a double on this one. Double. Yeah. All right. 
I say that every stand that way I'll be right once in a while. Do you like hunting by the cattle? Yeah, we usually do. We're trying to hunt by cows as much as possible. One, just because they tend to be around them more often. Two, because if we're going to shoot them, we want to get them out of the cow herds. Especially this time of year when we're getting ready to start calving. Yeah. Mainly the reason we got a lot of them that around the cows. rig. This is Micah's build. What do you got going on? Got my tire deflators I'm going to put on here. Let some air pressure out of the tires. Some big tires, man. Ride a little smoother on the rocks. Tell us about your suspension. Um, it's a solid front axle swap on an 03 Tacoma and it cost way more money than I wanted it to and took way longer than I thought it would. But it's pretty good, I got 14 inches of travel. So. It's pretty smooth on the road. Not too bad, with some tire pressure out it's gonna be even better. <laughs> Yeah, I heard you kiss and I couldn't find it. I, never saw it. I think it was the same one, honestly. Did he just circled clear around? He went over here, stopped, turned around, I caught, I watched him cross the road, disappeared, and then I saw him come right there, so I think it is the same one. Well, I'm sure it was. Yeah, you kissed. And I'm just like, I never saw him, so I switched up sounds. When I saw this one, he was I thought he was going away. I caught him straight out in the flat, going this way. And then uh -huh. he turned. Man, I can't believe I made that shot. I was off balance. Bad. Yeah. And then I looked up and saw you were still looking over here. Hey. That's why I kissed. Yeah, no, I was staring over there trying to figure out where, because I saw something that I thought was movement, but... Yeah, he crossed the road, right where the road disappears into the bush. Yeah, your, your bark didn't stop him so much as that howl did. I don't think you would have stopped at all so far. That's what's so cool about coyote hunting sometimes. They just, like that one this morning, they just fall. Yeah. Right to you. And you get some like this, whether this is a young dog, old dog, whatever. 
but it's really smart, you know. Mm -hmm. We're trying to work that wind all the way around. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I got a blonde. That's a bigger guy. I'm a female. She knew something wasn't right. Yeah, she <laughs> definitely did. These are such cool animals, man. So smart. I just want to say thanks to these guys man I hope you guys enjoy these videos that they put out I enjoy watching them but I'll tell you what if you can get out and get a chance to do something like this I would recommend it I don't have all the knowledge and the gear to do it so I love to team up with these guys because they are the experts at it and uh, they love sharing this stuff so if you guys get a chance to go out and predator hunt I'd say give it a try maybe some of their friends are gonna hate me for trying to get more people involved in this thing huh yeah the way I look at it is we might as well help people be effective at it because then the coyotes will just move in. Otherwise, you're just going to get smart and you'll never get them. So. There you go. Nice. Got a little white tip. Two females, man. And they're both really pretty. Yeah, I was looking back at everything that we've shot. And I would say 70% of what we shot this year is males. Yeah, a lot of males. That day with Rusty, I think we all... Hey, we killed six with them. I think every one of them was a male. Yeah. Not near as good a color on it, but... No. For this kind of country, you can't complain. You can Poverty see that. Color. The it's distance. It's, it's pretty, too, I think. All right, guys. That's a wrap for the video. We pretty much pulled an all dayer. I don't know how many stands we finally got. We got like seven or eight today. Seven or eight. And uh, let me show you these dogs. And I really want to show you the contrasting difference in color. One thing I really noticed when this thing ran is, is just how silver it looked. But, uh, so this is the one I shot this morning, and then the one Garrett shot earlier, uh, or later in the afternoon, but his is just a bit bigger, but honestly, both have really, really pretty coats, just a little more color on this guy. This is more typical color, don't you think? Yeah, for sure, that's way more Out here? You don't, you don't get the highlights and the, the color like this on these coyotes. I mean, we're down in the low desert, it's, it was like 60 degrees today. Yeah, this is their winter coat, and their winters down here are very light, but nice yeah. to get a couple dogs, spend some time with these guys. Yeah, dude, for sure. Absolutely appreciate it. Thanks so much. These guys have their channel, Hidden Instinct, if you guys haven't been checking it out. If you're interested in coyote hunting, if you want to learn more, and if you just want some entertainment, go check them out on their channel. To be honest, just a great day outside. That was one thing I wanted to do this year, being going into winter, which are my least desired months because i wanted to get out more do more fun things just like this and coming down here where it's 58 60 <laughs> degrees awesome that, I said, that's there. really it's what spoiled. you want down here <laughs> it's like, for us or anything been, else yeah. can't <laughs> been like hey eric let's go to wyoming and hunt coyotes you'd have been like no oh no I'm no we don't need to do that <laughs> had a ton of fun i learned a lot and it's so much it's so cool to watch so much of their films and then do it in person and actually take some of the knowledge i've learned just by watching and be like yeah i've kind of i felt like i've been here you know what i mean i feel like i've been in the position you know just doing. through your videos so yeah check out their channel we're gonna check out but hope you guys enjoyed today's video hit that subscribe button and uh we'll see you on the next video